green. So when we think of green, we think of the environment, we think of nature, and in natural colors, you would think that green would be easy or quite readily available. And although it is possible to find different kinds of greens from all different kinds of plants, I personally have found it to be a bit more challenging than one might think. Hi, this is Margaret Bird and welcome to Color Quest. Today, we're going to continue looking at green to see how we might be able to coax it out of some very common foods. Things you may have in your kitchen or part of your diet during certain times of the year, including asparagus and artichoke. Now, I have shared a video here on how to make green dye from spinach, which is also a food staple. So I thought I would add to that library by looking at two additional green foods. Keep an eye out in the video because I add a little bit of something special, which I have found to help with enticing green from vegetables and I'm going to ask you to watch your heat carefully. You don't want to overcook or turn your heat too high on these two vegetables because you could brown out your color. So it's better always to go with a lower temperature for a longer time. And with these two vegetables, I have found that to be very true. Let's go see what we can do with some pretty yummy vegetables if we're willing to give them up for our dye pot. Thank you. 
so there you have it two more options to find some light green for your natural dye pot. You'll notice there wasn't much of a difference between the cellulose and protein fibers and the difference between the green of the asparagus and the green of the artichoke is slight, but it's there, especially when you put them side by side. So don't assume that all greens are the same. You would be amazed if you were to put spinach green next to these two vegetables they each have their own shade very unique to themselves all of a lovely green so i hope you get to try that out some people have told me that they've simply saved the water after cooking their asparagus and artichoke and been able to get some green from there i actually think you need a little bit more time in order for the color to be broken down and pulled from the vegetable and i personally don't like mushy veggies so but it's worth trying maybe if you have some cook some up keep that water and see if you can get some dye out of it so we are entering into the summer months here in the west coast of the US. And I'm going to look at one of the amazing staples in the dye world. And that is in the summer garden of the marigold. Now, marigolds are used throughout the world as an incredible dye source. So join me next week as we look at how we can make vibrant oranges and yellows from the petals of the marigold. And if you've watched the video this long, I just wanna share that I am now offering a digital course. The link to join is in the description below. And I would love to have you come on over and see what we're doing in Cooking Color. It is a 17 video tutorial workshop, all digital and available to you as you have the time to work on it. It's a sort of natural dye 101. It gives a lot of great information, both to get you started, as well as just some great reminders of ways to help have a successful dye practice. Thanks so much for being here. I hope that you will hit subscribe and join me every Friday as I continue to explore and share my love and passion of natural color.